Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a long while since I've uploaded a video but it feels so good to be back. For today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these DIY Halloween paper poppets that you guys can use this spooky season. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. You are going to be needing some plain printer paper, some cardstock paper, a sharpie, a glue stick, some markers or colors of your choice, a pair of scissors, a pencil, and last but not least, some tape. You are going to start out by first sketching your design with a pencil on one of the pieces of paper, and I already did so, so I'm going to use my sharpie to go and trace over all of my pencil marks. I decided to do a pumpkin for my first poppet, but of course you can do whatever you like. And secondly, I'm going to go in with my markers and color the entire thing. Now you can use color pencils, crayons, anything else that you might have to color, go ahead and feel free to use that. And once I have everything colored, I'm going to get my scissors and cut everything out. I'm going to leave a border around my pumpkin, but of course, if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. And next, I'm going to determine where I want each button to be. So I'm going to be using my pencil to draw out little circles where I want each one of those to be. And once I have gotten them all where I want them to be, I'm going to fold it in half to where it only shows half of the circle. Next, I'm going to use my scissors and I'm going to cut out that half of the circle on both sides. So that way when you unfold it, it should look something like this. Next up, I'm going to be tracing my image on a piece of cardstock. You can use any color of cardstock you'd like. I'm using orange because I am making a pumpkin. Trace all around your image, including the circles that you cut, and then cut everything out using a pair of scissors. Once you have done this, you can match up the two pieces to make sure that everything is aligned, and then you can go ahead and cut out the circles as well using the same method that you did the first time, and it should look something like this, and all of your holes should align perfectly. Glue the two pieces together and make sure that they are stuck onto one another really well and you should have something that looks like this. Next up, we are going to create the actual buttons. So I'm going to be using a scrap piece of paper that we cut the pumpkin out of and I'm going to be coloring a section of it orange, the same color as the pumpkin. I'm going to use the pumpkin in order to trace the hole that I want and then I'm going to cut it out a little bit larger than the actual hole. I'm going to use my scissors to make a slit all the way into the center and I'm going to fold it over like so and then tape it together so that way it creates a cone shape. Once you insert the cone shape to the back of your pumpkin, it should look something like that, creating a button. I'm going to create slits on the back side of the cone shape and then I'm going to tape it down like so, so that way it is easier to flatten out in the back. Your button should look something like this where you can pop it back and forth and once you're done doing it to all of the holes, you will have something that looks like this and it'll function exactly like a real poppet and make noise. And you can of course repeat this process with any design you can think of. Here I'm doing a bat, a candy corn, and a ghost. And I'm also going to show you guys another project where I create a cauldron. With this method, your poppet will last way longer and it'll be way more durable. So I'm going to repeat the same exact steps in coloring it and sketching out my design. And of course, I'm going to cut it out as well. I'm going to also trace my design just like we did in the last steps using a piece of cardstock and I'm going to glue the two pieces together as well. However, after you ensure that the two pieces are glued together firmly, we are going to be adding an extra step of adding packaging tape to the back of it and all to the front of it. And doing this will make your poppet way more durable and will make it last longer, especially if you plan to keep it for a long time and use it frequently. So I'm going to peel everything up once the back and the front is all taped. And inside the holes, you will see that there is some tape inside of there. And we are going to be using an X-Acto knife to get rid of that. So carefully just insert your X-Acto knife into the hole and then kind of cut around it and pull it out. Now I'm going to repeat the same steps of using a scrap piece of paper to color the same color as the poppet, but this time I'm going to be coloring it front and back, and I'm going to be applying tape to both sides of the scrap paper where we have colored. 
This will make the buttons more durable and will increase the longevity of your poppet. And once both sides are taped, I'm going to cut out a circle bigger than the holes on the poppet, and I'm going to repeat the same process of cutting a slit and then creating a cone shape to create a button to insert in the back. And once you are done, it shall look something like this, all taped up in the back, and you can begin playing with your poppet. And that is all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this DIY of creating these Halloween paper poppets. Just know that you can create anything you want. It does not have to be Halloween themed, so get creative with this. But as always, I want to know what you guys think, so leave a comment down below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!